Hello, hello, hello. How are my Leos doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. This is going to be your general love reading for the last day of March, March 31st. Excuse my nails. They are a mess. One popped off and I haven't had any time to do them. So yeah, I'm looking kind of hood radish, but it got on top of my hood rats. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's going on. What flipped out for you? I am becoming a better person. Okay. These are your hidden love messages. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am becoming a better person. And I want to tell you how I feel. Mm. Okay, Leo. So somebody is working on themselves, going through a growth journey, I like to call them. Trying to make themselves, you know, to be the best best absolute version of themselves basically and somebody wants to tell you how they feel mm, okay so let's go ahead and pull your tarot check out the description box if you want to book a personal reading with me if you want to follow me on social media all that information is below as well there's also an extended reading link if you're interested in purchasing the extended read for this reading you can do so if you want to become a member, click the join button, or there's a link below that will take you to the membership page. Don't forget to show your girl some love. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. All right, let's see, Leo. <laughs> How are you currently feeling in love, Leo? How are you currently feeling in love towards the person you're dealing with in love or towards the person you're thinking about? Justice. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Fairness, truth, honesty, okay? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Mm, somebody left somebody. The King of Wands in reverse. Is that you? And the Ten of Wands. Something is coming through as a burden here. Stressful here for you. What is it? It's right here next to you. What is it? You got a lot going on. Some of y'all, you got a lot going on with your life right now. Like I'm seeing a lot of movement, a lot of responsibilities whenever I see the 10 of wands. Somebody who's got a lot of shit going on, but in a good way, but it's just, you got your, you have a busy life or you just have a lot of responsibility, pros and cons to it, you know? How does this person feel about you? The hangman in reverse. Pisces energy there. Three of pentacles. Mm. <laughs> the queen of wands in reverse. Some of y'all dealing with another fire sign. Two of Cups. Mutual energy is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Never cease to amaze me here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So for you, we got the Justice card and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Things are starting to work out for you. Whether you see it or not. Things are starting to work out for you. I feel like a lot of you have been hit with, you know, certain unfortunate circumstances, okay? And I feel like some of you got over a hump, like a big hump. And now that you're over that hump, it's amazing. Now all the blessings are going to really start pouring in for you more and more. I just see things working out for you. I see good karma. That's basically what I want to say. Good karma for you. Um, I'm seeing, for a lot of you, I'm seeing an ab abusive situation. Somebody here who, and abuse doesn't have to mean beating your face in. It could mean somebody who was beating you, you know, up emotionally. Emotionally. 
I feel like you went through something crazy here with somebody and it's all making sense now. Let's clarify, because I'm seeing somebody that was a pretty burden on your life. Cause a lot of stress. Let's see the justice card, let's clarify. The temperance card in reverse. Sagittarian energy. Mm. Show me the knight of swords in reverse here. Queen of swords in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all left somebody or you cut somebody off. King of wands in reverse here. Yeah, I feel like somebody, whoever this is, like this is somebody that just wasn't doing it for you or... That was causing a lot of stress. You feel like your actions were justified. Show me this Ten of Wands, the center of your stress here. Being away from them is what's... That could have been a third party thing going on for some of you. Some of you, this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be another fire sign. Let's look on their side here. Show me the hangman here in reverse. The world. Show me the three of pentacles. The nine of swords. Who is this person over here stressing out over you? Queen of wands in reverse. The emperor. Somebody feels like you're mad at them and that's it. And you're not changing your mind. They pissed you off. Somebody pissed you off. Show me the two of cups. That's what it feels like. The high priestess. Somebody here still feels a strong connection with you. They could be spying on you with the page of swords here in reverse. There could be possibly no communication. Okay. It seems like somebody here has a connection with you that they're trying to keep on the low low or trying to keep buried within in the subconscious because it's here on top of the high priestess. This is somebody that you're, I feel like you picked up on this person a few times in the last month. Um, or this person came through a few times in the last month. I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody that, uh, this is somebody that, um, pissed you off. That's what I'm getting. This is somebody that pissed you off, ticked you the wrong way. I don't know what they did. Everybody's situation is different. For some of you, it had something to do with a third party, but I just see stress and frustrations and I'm seeing you feeling like your actions and the way you feel is justified for the way you feel about this person. Meaning they gave you a reason to feel this way. They're giving you a reason to feel stress. You get what I'm saying? With the Knight of Swords in reverse here next to the Justice, I, I get scared when I see the Knight of Swords in reverse because... That can be, it's not always a violent person, but it can usually be somebody kind of aggressive or bully-like or mean. <laughs> you know, some people just mean, yeah. So for some of you, yeah. And then I'm seeing your energy as being like, turn the fuck off, like, there's no way I can see myself with this person in the future, after this, after that. It's like, I see you keeping your distance. Some of you, it's a Sagittarius. Um, and then your person over here, the hangman in reverse with the world, it's like, I'm seeing stress on this person's end. I'm seeing sleepless nights over you. Because it's like somebody's still attached to you here. Somebody here is still attached to your, to you. Their connection with you is heavy. And with from what they feel, and they feel, whoever this is, feels like you're mad. Like you're mad at them, you're pissed at them. King and Queen of Wands in reverse. It's like you're mad at them, you're pissed at them. And you're going to continue feeling that way, the emperor. That's you. I feel like that's you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. But I see stress. 
I see stress. I see them being frustrated about this. Yeah, let's look from another deck, okay? And I see something about the bond they have with you or the connection they have with you and how they have to bury it down into their subconscious for whatever reason. So for a lot of you, yeah, this could be an X. It's definitely been an X type of uh, past few um, weeks for a lot of you. X energy. All right. Um, which other deck do I want to use? Let's use this one here. And that kind of goes with the I want to tell you how I feel because I feel like your person is whoever they are. They're holding a lot in because they feel like you're pissed at them because they feel like you're mad at them or whatever. How does Leo feel about this person? Two of Pentacles. Some of you are dating. King of Swords. King of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, same energy. Whoever this is, you're trying to look at this as like from a more like a logical standpoint because you pull in King of Swords energy. How does this person feel about you? The Tower. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, whoever this is, they still fucking adore you. Hangman now, upright. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Now in this deck, now in this deck, <laughs> the mutual energy is the two of cups. What's going on now? Now in this deck, we got the two of cups. Hello? Mutual energy. You got you still got a connection with this person. Cause I did see some for some of you, it's hard for you to keep your distance. Hello? For some of you, hey mama, I feel like it's hard for you to keep your distance. But you're doing it for whatever reasons. something going on with this person's I don't know I don't know if you don't trust this person because you're seeing them as the king of pentacles in reverse whether it's a male or female that could be somebody who's definitely not trustworthy or somebody who is not available like relationship wise they could be in a marriage they could be in another commitment let's see show me the two of pentacles Okay, so you use work as a distraction to keep your mind off this person. Okay. Show me the king of swords. Work and money. The magician. Show me the king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. See, your happiness here is in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse on top of this person. Let me see this um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, acceptance. Show me the tower here. This person still thinks about this tower moment. There was a tower moment that happened between you and them. Pretty big. The Hierophant. Oh, this person thought you and them was going to be married. Show me the Eight of Pentacles here. Stress release. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. The Fool. 
show me the hangman here four of swords yeah there's silence between you and this person hangman they feel like there's nothing they can do they can't move but you're constantly on their mind it's funny how you both you and this person both feel like you've put in a lot of effort here to try to make this work they feel like they tried you feel like you tried Yeah. The fool with the queen of pentacles. This person will love the opportunity to um try again with you. Whoever this is. Whoever this is. This person would love to try again with you. But, I mean, I see y'all both got a mutual connection. The devil is behind it, though. You see? You see with the king of cups in reverse. See? Why is the connection backed by the devil? What's going on with that? Something toxic went down here. The devil. The tower. King of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all, it's a water sign. They could have done something emotionally deceptive. I don't know. When I see you go this type of cold, Leo, I know that they something happened. Something big happened. You know what I mean? But I'm going to tell you right now, I do see it's hard for you to, to... It's hard for you to restrain or it's hard for you to do this, to be this King of Swords person because you do still have a connection with them. And that's the thing about connections. That's the thing about bonds, you know, soul bonds. It's like, if you have it with somebody, you have it with them. It's not something you can turn on and off. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like this person, yeah, they know that, you know, you guys will probably always feel like that forever, but they feel like, I don't know, they are becoming a better person, though, because when I see the hangman, I, I think about growth because the hangman is a card about, you know, literally not doing anything and just thinking, thinking about your circumstances, how you can be a better person, things, you know, and so on and so forth, looking from a different view at something, a view that you've never looked at it before from. So... Yeah, but I don't know. Your energy is kind of like I'm being cold towards this person. I tried. They are unstable for whatever reason. They wasted my time, but I still do feel something for them. And then your person's like, yeah, we did have this tower moment, but I feel like with the proper work for between the both of us and effort to try to make this work, we could because I still do care about you, but shit ain't moving pretty much. So let's go into the extended now. <laughs> let's go into the extended now um some of y'all it's a taurus virgo capricorn we're gonna go into the extended now and do a full spread on your person see more about how they feel about you and what future actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you we'll also go ahead and pull you some advice oracle cards all right i love you leos thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, see you next time. Have a blessed week. Bye.